Hello, I'm going to go over some tools for airsoft repair upgrades and things like that. These are the tools that are going to take care of about 90 to 80% of what you do, not counting soldering and a few other things. Um, just starting off, a good screwdriver. Um, Phillips head screwdriver is one of the things you're going to use the most. The thing to keep in mind is you want to get one that will reach all the way inside a buffer tube, uh, like an M4 style, that way you can remove the buffer tube screw. Uh, so definitely make sure it's a little bit longer than normal, uh, it doesn't have to be gigantic, just something basic. Uh, also magnetic help does uh, does help a lot, so see if you can get one of those as well. Next thing, just a flathead. Uh, I would get a thin flathead and a fatter uh, flathead because some screws are different. Um, plus it gets a good one because a lot of times you'll find yourself prying and doing different stuff like that. Next up, most of more thing to be honest, uh, hex keys. Now you can get the little tray of different heads, but the problem with that is you're going to lose them. Um, you can't pry with them, you'll be swapping parts in and out. I really, really like and recommend uh, these dynamite style ones. Things I like about these is they're good. They're solid, they're cheap, and because they have this flat spot on the, the handle, it mostly stops in your, uh, if it rolls or whatever like that. You can change out the bits, um, but these are what I use most of the time. Um, you can get like a pack of three on Amazon uh, that has most of them, but I think you have to get uh, one on one separately. Definitely get a, th a three millimeter, a 2.5 millimeter, a two millimeter, 1.5 millimeter. Um, You'll also, if you're gonna work on KWA guns, you're gonna to wanna to get a 1.3 millimeter. And if you're doing some of the gas guns, they actually use a 0.9 millimeter or 0.8. So um, if you're working on KWA guns and some other weird ones, uh, definitely get a 0.3 as well. Other things is these little precision style or micro flatheads of different kind. Uh, it's like a Phillips little flatheads. Um, these are also good for prying things when you're taking part of gearbox. You can use a flathead to get in there, push things up, or even like the small one where you're uh, reassembling gearbox, you just to shove things back in the right position. So those are also nice to get. Torx, if you're working with KWA and Tokamari, they use a Torx T10. Uh, I think there's a one, someone out there who also uses a Torx T8 but mostly it's just a Torx T10 if you're doing the KWA and Tokimori guns. Um, a dental pick, um, or there's a weapon pick as well, I think, or like an AR tool or something like that. Um, lots of good uses for these, uh, pulling springs, unpulling springs. Uh, you can also get in to the gearbox and unseach the uh, antivirus latch, which is handy for a lot of things. Um, so dental picks, and if you find one but doesn't doesn't work exactly how you want it to work. You can always uh, bend it with a hammer or a pliers, things like that, and get it working how you want it to work or shape it. Hammer. It's a, it's a hammer. Yep, it's a hammer. Um, I really like for metric. I don't know if you make these for uh, arm service for standard, but I don't know sure if they make them for metric. I like these T handles, um, especially when you're using. Uh, these to close the gearbox. You can stick this through the spring guide, up through the gearbox, through the spring, and then hold down the piston and the spring while you're reassembling the gearbox. I'll do a video on that at a different time, but they're these are really handy and they're really nice as well. And the other thing I find that comes handy for when you're working on a gun, you have all these bits laying around, things like that. These old CD or DVD uh, spindle holders, these are perfect because you can put something in here and it doesn't rattle around like this small little clip you put in there. This isn't going to fall over or anything like that. When you put in here, it's staying here. Um, even bearings, they're, they're not going anywhere. They always stay here. Um, so these are cheap and easy to get. I also use like these little bowls, but sometimes they can slosh around, things like that. These little trays are a way better thing to get. Um, I also use a multi-tool a lot like way more than I thought I would. Um, so this one has pliers, which comes in handy for a lot of things. Um, knife, 
Uh, it comes in a lot more use than I thought it would um, for various things. Definitely use this for prying, use it as intended for cutting, things like that. Uh, other things, um, valve key, mostly, honestly, just for gas guns. If you have a gas gun, buy a valve key. No excuses. You, you're going to need it no matter what. Uh, Teflon tape, um, multiple uses. If you're getting a gas gun, you'll definitely want to get Teflon tape. Uh, silicone grease, uh, different. You can get different greases. I just get basic silicone grease, uh, especially when resealing mags, things like that. This comes really handy. Blue Loctite is perfect for airsoft. If you're not sure what Loctite is, it's kind of like a glue for screws and mechanical things. Um, different colors mean different strengths. Blue means you can break it by your hand, as in like uh, using a screwdriver, you can undo it but most of the time won't undo by itself. So if you have a screw that keeps like coming out on its own, you put a little dab of Loctite in there, screw back in, it shouldn't come out on its own again. If you have something you don't want to uh, ever have move, like you're never going to remove it, you can use red, but I, I wouldn't recommend it ever. Just get blue Loctite. Uh, flashlight, just a basic flashlight. Um, a lot of people are using the flashlight on their phones, but when you have greasy hands, uh, we don't want to necessarily use that, so just a flash that of some kind. Speaking of grease, um, just a good pair of reusable gloves. I got these at Lowe's. Um, they're breathable. Uh, they're nitrate coated, so when you can use them, they're not going to get seep. The uh, the grease is going to seep through into your hands because some of the stuff you work on is kind of nasty. So just I think it's like ten bucks. I find these much more convenient to use than the uh, disposable gloves. So I'd definitely get these as well if you can. So this is a multimeter, and honestly, the only thing I use this for is the connectivity setting. So, let's see, this one doesn't do an audio. One, some of the better ones they do. So you, if you're working in a gearbox and you having problems, you can check the wires and see if there's a break between the wires. So it's gonna be a lot easier to troubleshoot things. Um, it comes around handy if you can figure out if your gun has a short, uh, which can actually happen from bare wires and a few other things. But uh, even this one's like less than 10 bucks. It's pretty handy to have just in case. And yeah, you can test batteries and other things like that as well. Um, electrical tape, because yeah, electrical tape. We get a flat magnet. Um, this comes in handy when you're undoing gearboxes and a couple other things. If you have really, really small bits um, and you don't have this handy, this can work too, but definitely use this. And this is mostly for undoing gearboxes, which will be a different video. Now, if you have an M4 um, and you're, you're going to change things down then or buffer tube things, um, this is for uh, disassembling the front. So if you have to do a different rail system and the little castle, the nut that holds the buffer tube to the receiver, there's a nut you can tighten. Um, so you can use this or you can do it by hand, but I just find this easier to have and they're like 20 bucks. So it's not too bad if you're going to find yourself working on M4s a lot or things like that. Uh, little bits container um, keeps bits organized and handy and you know, organized them together. Um, get these various places. I just this is all my all my hop up parts for just random shit. But these come in handy as well. Paper towel really handy for clean work surface. So if you're working on something and something's loose, it's really easy to see, and then it's easy to clean up. When I'm working on stuff, I just have a piece of cardboard table cardboard on my kitchen table. And paper towel over that, and then when I'm done, I can just throw us away. Uh, Q tips. Q tips are handy for cleaning. Uh, if you want to apply grease without smearing your finger, or things like that, um, these come around handy and they're really cheap. And yeah, just uh, this is the Allen key set, so this way they're not loose. I don't like using these too much because I prefer using the same Allen tools, um, but just in case it's not too bad to have but yeah that's those are the airsoft tools you're going to be using most of the time for most things uh there are a few exceptions like soldering you'll definitely need a soldering iron flux solder and shrink tube uh, but i will do a different di video on that and um, if you can change rail systems you're going to need a ar block and a vice bolted down to table and the ar tool 
and muscle because it's kind of a pain. Uh, last thing I can always think of is just a heat gun uh, for like breaking off orange tips, um, undoing rail systems, and a few other uses, um, like an O-ring on a cylinder. It's also handy to have, but not a not a must have. But yeah, uh, that's most of the tools you'll need to fix or upgrade or fix most of the air stuff stuff you're gonna run into out there. It's a very few exceptions. Uh, but if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Have a good one.